y'all my toxic trait is that over the summer i feel the need to go to target multiple times a week and that's a problem and that's how we're going to start this video Welcome, I'm so excited you're here. My name is Montana Riley. I teach fourth grade in Northern Virginia and I am teaching and uplifting on Instagram. I am so excited for this video today because this time of year is my absolute favorite. I love back to school shopping and I love stocking up on things for my classroom. So this video is going to be kind of like a mix of a vlog style video, but also a sit down like haul. So I'm gonna take you with me to Target and Michaels and then I'm gonna come back, sit down and show you what I got and talk to you about you know, where I got it from, how much it was, and how I'm planning on using it in my classroom, hopefully. Um, this video is actually in collaboration with my friend Molly from Lessons with Laughter, and Molly is just like the sweetest, most genuinely kind person. I met her this summer through Instagram, and she's already helped me with so many things. Um, she's so talented and organized, and she just has the best energy, um, and I absolutely adore her, and I adore following her and just getting so many ideas from her. So. After you watch my video, make sure you go check out her video because she's also doing a back to school shopping video and I will make sure to link her YouTube channel, her video, and her Instagram down in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get started. I just got to Target so I'm going to go check out their Target dollar spot and see if they've stocked it up or not and I'm really excited. I go to record a video of myself talking and target people just look at me like I'm crazy so I'm not gonna do that I'm at Michael's and I'm so excited because Michael's has my absolute favorite storage and like organizational items. Their bins are amazing, their rainbow carts are amazing, and I'm hoping that there's going to be some sales. So we will see.
already got some really good stuff today and I'm so excited to share it with you. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna organize it, and then I'm gonna sit down and talk about each item that I got. Let's start with Target, my absolute favorite. I'm gonna start with these amazing white bins from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm obsessed with these. Um, I love white. It's one of the main colors in my classroom. And I talked about my last video or my last Target haul video, how um, black is a main color in my classroom, but so is white. So I think these were about $3 each. They're super high quality. They're really thick plastic. And I just imagine like the prettiest pastel rainbow label on the front. That's so lame, but I love these bins. They're so cute. I think I'm gonna use them either in my library or for like an early finishers bin to hold activities. Next up are these All About Me paper accents from the Target Dollar Spot. Y'all, these, there's a pack of 30 for $1. That's amazing. Um, so it's just, they fill in their name and then the, I like how it's like, um, like doodles so they can color it in. It's all in black and white. And they just write their favorite colors, their favorite TV show, their favorite sweets, their favorite foods. Um, and this is just like a perfect like first week of school activity to get to know your kids and for them to get to know each other. Next up is this, they call it a perpetual calendar. And it is also from the Target Dollar Spot. This is $5 for the whole thing. And it's a really nice thick piece of wood. And it comes with all the pieces that you need. So you have the month, the day of the week, and then the actual day. And as you can see, all the pieces are on the back. This is so cute. I love how like it's all neutral colors, so it'll fit in any classroom. And then I imagine this being like an amazing classroom job for a student. Um, they can change the day every morning. Okay, so this is like a mock letter board. You can't actually like move the letters and it's really thin, um, but it says first day of school in the front and then you turn it over and then it says last day of school. I always wanna be that teacher that takes a picture of the students in the beginning of the year and then takes one at the end of the year and you can compare them and send them home with the parents. So I'm gonna try to do that this year with this sign. Um, it was only $5 from Target Dollar Spot and it looks like it'll hold up really well from year to year. Okay. I love a good letter board, but let me tell you that last year I got one from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something for like $7. And I tell you, when I took it out of the packaging, it broke immediately. And I tried to hot glue it. I tried to use command strips. It was a mess. Um, so I got a new one from Target. Um, this was not in the Target dollar spot. This was in like the um, back to school, but like the college decor section where they put all like the college dorm stuff. This was $14.99, but I'm obsessed with it because it's white and a really light wood. All the ones that I find are normally like black. Um, and this is really cool because it also comes in like a peach color, a teal color. I think they have a black one if you want the black one, but I had to have this because it was white and then I can change out and put fun little quotes or sayings on it throughout the year. Okay, I'm standing up for this one because it's really big, but this is an activity. Um, it says dry erase activity blotter. And I'm showing you the back right now because it has all of these different graphic organizers and they're kind of like, they're like dry erase anchor charts that you can use. And I had to have this because one, I teach reading and writing and all of these are related to reading and writing. But um, I knew that they'd be good in the classroom, but I also thought that they would be amazing for distance learning if I have to record videos of myself teaching or if I have to do live teaching. Um, I just think that these are perfect. Here's the one on the front. This is for a story map. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but let me see if it tells you, it has eight sheets, but they're double-sided. So there's about 16 pages in it. This is amazing and it's only $7. Okay, this is something I did not need. Let me just go ahead and say it. I do not need more bulletin board borders. I am a border hoarder. That's what you're saying. Border hoarder. I have so many bulletin board borders and I always try and save them. Like even if there's holes in them, I'm still trying to like patch it up and fix it because I love borders. So when I went to Target Dollar Spot and they had all of these amazing borders, I had some self-control and I only bought one kind. I bought four packs of that kind, but I only bought one. And it is the Rainbow Alphabet Borders. These are only a dollar for a whole pack. Now they are like shorter, but there is 14 pieces in here and they're reversible. Had to have these. I'm either gonna use them um, not, I mean, I'll use them on a bulletin board maybe, or I'll just staple them to the wall because I can do that in my classroom, um, or I'll use them in the hallway. 
Let me go ahead and preface this by saying that this is hands down the greatest product in the Target Dollar Spot year to year. And I'm obsessed and I use them for everything. So I had to stock up when they had them. And that is the adhesive label like pockets and squares and stuff. So these are um, little plastic adhesive labels that you can slide like a piece of paper or a label inside of it so that if you want to change the label all you have to do is pull it out and switch it out so I always get the square ones I use these large rectangle ones on my library cart and my library bins for my nonfiction books and then these ones are like little tiny rectangles but I use them for name tags and these are hands down the best name tags I've ever used they hold up all year long and if a kid does pick it off all I have to do is take it off and put on a new one these are about three dollars each but it comes with 20 labels so i told you i was obsessed so i bought three of each kind of three of the name tags three of the large rectangle ones and three of the square adhesive ones hopefully i won't need to buy more next year let's move on to my other favorite michael's and this is my favorite for anything that comes to storage and organization okay so these bins from Michaels are my absolute favorite from my library. I love the shape of them. I love the size of them. They are like a matte pl plastic, so they're not shiny and they're really, really thick. So I love using these for my nonfiction and like informational books in my library and showing you the Target um, adhesive pockets. I put one on the front of this and then I slide in the label that I want and they're perfect for my library. Um, I got three of these and I think they're three or four dollars each. I'm not sure, but it's a really great price for how high quality these bins are. Next up is I wanted to get some planner stickers. So just like everybody else has, these are the happy planner stickers. Um, and they have a ton, like a ton of different packs that you can choose from that it's quite overwhelming. Um, but when I was in Michael's, they had all the teacher stuff set to a side. Um, so I went through and saw which ones I like best. So I decided to go with the rad teacher pack and it just has like cute little like clip art stickers, but also like stickers that just relate to um, teaching. So like field trips or picture day and things like that. So I think that these are like originally $20 for the pack, but they do come with 700 stickers. I don't know if I can show you. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have these because I'm actually going to try and use a physical planner this year. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I ended up getting these, I think, for 30% off. So keep out for the keep an eye out for the sales at Michael's. They usually have some really good coupons, especially on the app. Okay, so I've been really wanting a project to work on over the summer. Um, and I wanted to have almost like a decor piece for my classroom somewhere. And so I decided to get these letters from Michael's. Um, and they're going to spell out read since I'm a reading and writing teacher. And I'm somehow going to decorate them. I'm not really sure, but when I figure it out, I'll probably film a YouTube video on it. Um, I love that they're white and that they're really thin. And it's just like a really nice material. Um, and I think each letter is $5, which compared to like Hobby Lobby, this is way cheaper. I think Hobby Lobby was like, theirs are a lot bigger and thicker, but they're like honestly $30 each. So when I saw these, I was like, these are perfect. Okay. Next is something that I told myself I didn't need for my first three years of teaching and I finally broke down and bought it because it was on super sale. I literally got it for like 11 or $12 and it is, I don't even know what this is called. It's just, I think people call it like a task card organizer, but you can open it up. Everybody has this and I just hear amazing things about it. So I decided to go for it. Um, and it has all these little containers on the inside of it and it was rainbow, so I had to have it. I will keep you updated on how I decide to use this and label it, but I'm super excited. The last thing I wanna show you guys is not from Target or Michaels. This is actually um, my new teacher lanyard from Lunar Bay, and I will put their um, Instagram handle and their website down in the description box, but I'm obsessed with this lanyard. So we have the actual like necklace part is like a nice thick rope and it's black and white. And then the beads are beautiful or pastel or rainbow colors and I'm obsessed. And they have ID card holders. So this one has pockets on the back and then I have my ID in the front and I'm obsessed with this. So definitely check them out. They have really high quality, beautiful lanyards. All right, that's everything that I have for you. Those are all the things that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks from my classroom. Um, 
and I'm just so excited to actually get back in my room and start setting up even though I don't know what the future holds for this school year. I'm trying to stay positive, crossing my fingers that I can at least work from my classroom rather than my apartment. Um, but if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment and for future videos, you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to go watch my friend Molly from Lessons with Laughter's video. She's amazing. She also did a back to school shopping video and you are going to love her video as well. So definitely go check that out and I can't wait to see you again soon.